Wouldn't it be nice to select an object in a photo using one click and drag? The auto selection tool comes a lot closer to making that happen. Let's say I want to put a selection outline around this soccer player. In the past, you would start with a quick selection tool and have to click and drag the quick selection brush around various places on the image to create the first selection. Now, for most images, you can start with the auto selection tool. Let's start by duplicating the layer. Press Ctrl J in Windows or Command J on a Mac. Click on the visibility icon of the original layer to hide it temporarily. Get the auto selection tool. It's nested with the quick selection tool. So click on that and then open tool options and click on the auto select icon. In the next section, click on the middle icon called add and choose the type of tool you want to use. Most of the time it's easiest to use a rectangle. Leave sample all layers and constraint selection unchecked. On your document, click and drag a rectangle around your subject to get your initial selection. So you can see this has done a good job at getting my initial selection, but it's rare to find an object that gets selected on the first try. Most objects will require some more work, and I mostly use the quick select tool and the auto selection tool to make the necessary adjustments. Zoom in and check your selection. Outlines that aren't quite all the way to the edge work well with the quick selection tool. So I'll click on that and make sure that the add icon is checked. Now I can make my brush the correct size by pressing the right or left bracket key and just click and drag in an area to make it expand a little bit. So right here along his cheek then I just move down and look at all the selection outline and here we have a missing part so we'll click there and also down here on each of these fingers and that's looking really good so this is what you would do You'd just go along the edge and make sure right here there's a little bit that is outside of his legs so I'm going to press the alt key in Windows option key on a Mac and click and drag along there to take some away and then here I need to add some on so just keep going around your entire image to make sure that your selection is right up against the edge where it should be. I'm finished selecting the soccer player and now I'd like to add the ball into the selection so I'll switch to the auto selection tool and since I have the add icon checked I can click and drag a rectangle around the ball to select it. Once you have your selection there are lots of things you can do with it. Here's what I'll do. Click on the add a layer mask icon to hide everything but the selected area. Double click on the image thumbnail of the duplicate layer to make it the active thumbnail. In the menu bar choose enhance auto smart tone. When the dialog box comes up drag the circle to improve the image. I'll drag it up and to the right to make it lighter with less contrast. Click OK. Here it is without that adjustment. And here it is with it. The effect only shows on the area I selected because the mask is hiding the rest of the photo. Now click on the background layer and click on the create new fill or adjustment layer icon in the layers panel and choose Hue Saturation. When the dialog box comes up, move the saturation slider all the way to the left to produce a fun black and white background. If that effect is too much, lower the opacity of that layer at the top of the layers panel and I'll bring it down to around 50% and double click on Hue Saturation to hide it. Here's how the image looked when we started out and here's how it looks now. This is just one of the many fun techniques you can do using a selection as a starting point. Watch my video on replacing a background to see another great technique using the auto selection tool. This is Linda Satgast for Quick Learn Photoshop Elements.